everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to show you a great alternative to your everyday potatoes. Today, I'm going to be roasting them and I'm going to season them with freshly minced garlic and rosemary and they're going to be nice and crispy from the outside and soft and fluffy from the inside. Now, this is a perfect dish to prepare any time of the year. And if you're wanting to get away from the same old mashed potatoes during the holidays, then this recipe is for you. Super easy to put together. And today I'm going to show you how I roast them step by step. Let's get started. So I've got my petite red potatoes right here ready to go. Now, as you can see, these little red potatoes are all about the same size. That's what you want to do. You want to make sure that your potatoes are all about the same size. Now, these potatoes come in bags like this. See, petite red. This bag holds one pound. So I have two pounds right here. Just wanted to show you the bag. Now, you can find them in little bags like this or loose. Now, if you can't find little petite potatoes like this, about this size, then you can get bigger potatoes. You may want to have to cut them in half, thirds, or maybe even fourths but you wanna make sure that your potatoes are all about the same size so that they can roast evenly. I'm gonna parboil my potatoes. Parboiling means partially boiled, okay? When you parboil them, they'll be nice and soft from the inside, and then when you roast them, they'll take very little time and they'll be nice and crispy and nice and soft from the inside. So now we can take these to the stove. Now I'm going to be using this large Dutch oven. It gets the water nice and hot really quick. So if you have one, use it. Now I'm going to add some kosher salt. We want to salt our water and that will work just fine. And I'm going to add my potatoes in here. Now I've got my heat set on high. The water is starting to get nice and hot. And here are the last of the potatoes. Now I'm going to let them boil for about 12 minutes, but it all depends on the size of your potato. It could be anywhere between eight and 15 minutes. And it also depends on what kind of a pot you're using. Now this one gets really hot really quick. So I'll see you in just a few minutes. So it's been about 12 minutes. I'm gonna check my potatoes and they're not giving me a lot of resistance, see? And they're ready. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna take them over to the sink and drain them. So I just drained my potatoes. I'm gonna spread them out right here on this cookie sheet so they can cool. Now you don't have to let them cool that long. Four minutes or so is good. So while my potatoes cool, I'm gonna prepare my seasoning. Now in this bowl, I'm gonna add my garlic. I have five medium-sized garlic cloves and these are freshly minced. Now you can leave the garlic out if you want. You can use garlic powder if you'd rather do that. Now I've got finely chopped rosemary right here and this is one tablespoon. So I'm gonna add it in here. I've got plenty of rosemary in a pot out in the mudroom, see? And I went and cut off a big sprig of it. I like fresh rosemary, but if you don't have fresh rosemary, you can use dry. So now I'm gonna add my olive oil. I'm gonna add two tablespoons in here. I want a good olive oil in here. And that's good. Now I'm gonna add this at the very end because I don't want my garlic to burn. Now I know a lot of people like to add their garlic and their rosemary and all to their potatoes and then put them into the oven. I don't like to do that because I feel that by the time your potatoes are roasted, your garlic is burned. I'm gonna set it aside until I'm ready to use it. So it's been about four minutes or so and my potatoes are still nice and warm, but it's time to slice them in half. I'm just gonna slice them the long way and I'm gonna put them into this bowl. Now they slice real easy and they're just a pinch firm from the inside, but that's good because they're gonna continue cooking when they're roasting in the oven. So I've got all my potatoes cut in half, see? And now I'm gonna season them so we can put them in the oven. I'm gonna sprinkle some olive oil. You don't wanna overdo it. You just want enough in here so that you can toss it and they'll be nice and oiled. And I'm gonna sprinkle my lemon pepper. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon and a half. 
you can use as much as you want. See, this is gonna give them a nice lemony zing and it's got the pepper and everything in it. And my seasonal will give it a delicious flavor and it works so well with the rosemary and the olive oil and the garlic. So I'm gonna toss them around and I'm gonna continue sprinkling the lemon pepper and the seasonal until they're all nice and coated. And they're just perfect like this, just right. Now I've got another cookie sheet just like this one in the oven getting nice and hot. So here's my hot cookie sheet. I'm gonna dump all my potatoes in here. You hear the sizzle? That's just a head start. So I'm gonna flip my potatoes over, cut side down. Just do the best you can. So I've got all my potatoes cut side down. This way they'll all roast real nice and gold from the bottom evenly. Now I've got my oven set at 425 degrees and I'm gonna put them in for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna flip them over at the 15 minute point. Now if you notice that at the 15 minute point they're still not gold enough, you can leave them in there a little bit longer because the size of your potato has a lot to do with it and your oven does too. So it's been about 16 minutes. Look at how pretty they are. Now you wanna flip them over as best as you can. They look just perfect. Now I'm gonna put them back into the oven. When I've got two minutes to go, I'm gonna take them out and put my garlic and my olive oil mixture in here. So I've got two minutes to go before my 30 minutes are up. And it's at this time that I'm gonna add my olive oil with my garlic and my rosemary. Now I'm gonna toss them so that they all get some of this good stuff. See, so they're well coated. Now I'm just gonna spread them out and I'm gonna put them back into the oven for two minutes so that the potatoes will get that delicious flavor from the garlic and the rosemary. So it's been about 30 minutes. I'm gonna put them into this bowl And you want all that garlic in here. Now I'm gonna add a little parsley and I'm gonna toss them together. Gotta taste one of these. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely divine. The garlic and the rosemary. Mmm. You can pick up on it with every bite. And then the crunch on the outside, and they're super soft from the inside. Absolutely delicious. So these are my wonderful rosemary and garlic roasted potatoes. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.